What <coughs> what is going on everybody? My name is High Def Dan and we're back with another dip review. Now this one's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be different because I, I went on this website and it said for $5.99 or, or five dollars that I could order samples. I got 16 samples here. So we are going to split this into probably four parts. So what we're reviewing today is called Back Off. Now this is a <coughs> uh, tobacco nicotine alternative, 100% tobacco free and 100% nicotine free, made out of tea leaves. It says all the taste, feel, and satisfaction of the real thing. Now this gets me worried because personally I hate, <coughs> I hate how nicotine feels in my system when I dip. So, I'm hoping it doesn't give me that real feeling. I have a spit jug today. It was Coke at one point. Um, but, so it comes with uh, four different kinds. We have just the normal pouches of tea leaves. We have coffee pouches, which remind me of the grinds. I'll try those another time because I'm on a get up wicked early schedule this week uh we have energized formula which i assume is caf caffeinated caffeine yeah what if these have caffeine in them actually these ones don't and we have rough cut and rough and fine cut now last now last um one we reviewed was the can of dips which i still have and have not finished and i still currently have a couple of, of pouches of grinds left and if you guys want me to do a full-on review of grinds i personally i'm a big fan of grinds but if you want me to do a full-on review of them please let me know in the comments below uh but yeah, the candidates I gave an 8 out of 10 tropical mango flavor of candidates. The difference with back off is I have a sample of every single flavor. So it's going to be much longer and I'm going to have something to compare it to. I have two things to compare it to, or three. I have candidates to compare it to. When we do the coffee pouches, I have grinds to compare it to. And when we do the rough cut, fine cut, and even these pouches, I have Outlaw Dip to compare it to. I did the Outlaw Ramblin' Root Beer. I did almost the entire can before I was like, this is making me sick. So, we're going to start. And what I'm going to do with these ones. Alright, so it is 3, 4, 4, and 5. So we're doing these 5 today. And let's see, the flavors that we have today are the Classic Apple Blend, Classic Natural, Classic Mint, Classic Wintergreen, and Classic Straight. So I'm not going to make any choice on which one to do first. Instead, I'm going to shuffle them like a deck of cards. And whatever one I pull out. I'm is the was the one I'm gonna try first. So I'm just I'm sitting here, I'm just shuffling these up. Kinda kinda all weird like. And we are trying classic mint first. Now, outlaw dip burned the absolute shit out of my mouth, but I I the burn wasn't what got me, it was it making me feel sick as I said like fifteen times in the last review, so I'm not gonna say it this time. Um but we're gonna open it up. Oh, instantly, kind of a not a very good scent. I can be honest with you there. Um, you can definitely tell that it's tea leaves. They smell like tea leaves. Um, it smells like a mix of a. You know, the more that I smell it, it actually kind of smells like mint tea, which is one of my favorites. Mint green tea is like my all-time favorite tea. Nice, very moist pouches here. 
uh, almost dripping. Now, no tobacco, no nicotine. I'm hoping, I am absolutely hoping there's no burn. So we're gonna give the classic mint right now a try. It, it doesn't burn. I'm not, I'm not really getting a minty, a mint taste in my mouth. Like I can feel like, like if you had like a lifesaver or something in your mouth and you're just stuck in between your lips. That's all I'm getting right now out of these. I don't feel like I have to spit. It just feels like I have something in my mouth. It's not really activating my salivary glands all that much. I feel nothing. I feel nothing and I taste nothing with the classic men. Um, yeah, this is just bland. This is very bland. Very tasteless. It's like the, um, you put a lot of sugar in your tea and you drink it and it starts to taste like nothing. That's, that's all this is. It just tastes like nothing. It really does. It's, it burns now. I'm getting a burn. It's like nothing. It's just like oozing tea into my mouth. It's really not, not doing anything for me. Yeah, I'm, um, uh, I'm, uh, I don't feel, I don't feel sick as much as that one just tasted bad. I'm gonna try to keep track of these as I do them. So the back off classic mint. Three out of ten. Ow. Ugh. No. That's an easy two. That's a two out of ten. That is leaving a horrible taste in the back of my mouth. Very much not a fan of that. Ugh. That was not good. That was not good at all. <sighs> Shuffle it again. That just tastes like unsweetened tea with toothpaste in it. That's what that one tasted like. Now I'm not shitting on back off by any chance. Some people may very much like the classic mint back off. I, for one, am not a fan of that. And I drop. And the next flavor that we are going to try is classic apple. Now, something about um, apple and tea doesn't seem very appealing to me. Um, this is just my own personal opinion. Overall, I'm, I'm very happy with, with the fact that Back Off is trying to help people quit by doing an alternative to tobacco. I just did not enjoy uh, Back Off Classic Mint. Now. Ooh. A much better scent. 
it just it is straight up it just smells like apple in here it smells like uh, granny smith it smells like granny smith apples it doesn't smell like granny smith um yeah it's just a uh apple with a hint of tea on this one not bad at all not a bad scent now these come with you know more than one pouch in them so i'm gonna have to find a way to save these pouches maybe uh dispose of the grinds and put them in there i don't know so we got a nice uh pouch here uh with tea leaves in it and it that is such a familiar smell. I have smelled this before. Pie. It smells... It smells like an apple fritter. It smells just like an apple fritter. Just like one. Right off the bat, let's burn. That just tastes like apples. I don't taste the tea as much in that one. Could have just been bad pouches, but an almost instant apple taste in the mouth. Um, I mean, I still get that tea aftertaste, which I'm not a huge fan of, but this one feels good. I like this one. Yeah. Hmm. Now I'm not sure what it is in these, but uh it all has a very similar taste. After a while, like this tasted strong, strong like apples when I first uh, put it in my lip. Now I'm getting like a. <sighs> like a bad taste on my tongue. A bad taste in my mouth. But it comes and goes. Like right now, it just tastes like apples, but a few seconds ago, it was like. <sighs> kind of taste. It's weird. Now it's apples again. Like, have you ever bitten in an apple and after you chew it, you have that like lingering kind of apple-y, kind of like saliva-y apple taste in your mouth? That's what I have right now. And I am not hating it. But I think I'm a fan of this one. I most definitely am a fan of this one. Man, if I wasn't doing a video, I would just sit here and enjoy this one for a while. But, we're doing a video. Back off. Classic Apple Blend. I'll give that one a 7 out of 10. That was, that was enjoyable. Not as enjoyable as the can of dips, but it was quite enjoyable. So, three left to go. Three left to go, folks. At least in this part. Let's shuffle these around. I think we have a wintergreen and then just two classics. <laughs> That's all we have. We get the classic natural. Everything yet? It's just tea leaves. Handcrafted moist snuff alternative. Let's give classic natural a go. Oh.
Yeah. That's not good presentation. I get it. They've been sitting in a package. So I'm not going to I'm not going to be harsh on them. But let's see if I can grab the other pouch and see what it's like. It's like that too. This is definitely a black tea, I think. But it's just like all built up there at the bottom and I don't know if I trust that and it's getting all over my hands and so let's just try it it just smells like tea it, it like doesn't want to go already a burn starting on this one hold on Yo. This tastes like tobacco. This just straight up tastes like tobacco. How do they do that? How did you make tea leaves taste like tobacco? Oh, this one has quite the head high though. And it's not like a, I feel sick to my stomach type high head high type like man man this is good <laughs> not as good as the apple though Not as good as the apple. Better than the, um... Classic mint, though. I couldn't keep that. Um... The apple had a 6 out of... Uh, was a, a 7 out of 10. I'd probably give these ones a 6 out of 10. Back off has not been able to uh, to top the others. So you know what? I'm just gonna uh, stick to uh, four for this video, and we're gonna end it with the uh, classic wintergreen. Now, that classic like tobacco classic got shit all over my hands. I'm not a fan of that. Now, classic. Wintergreen tea leaves. <sighs> that it's going to sound weird. Classic wintergreen tea leaves smell like outlaw ramble and root beer. This smells like ramble and root beer. Here it is. I mean, they all look the same. I'm going to put this one in the left side. Did I put them all on the right side so far? Maybe. Maybe it'll make a difference. I I hope. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh. No. Um. Just. Just no. It's not. Oh. It's not back off that's bad. It's just I am not a fan of tea imitating tobacco, it seems. It's very, very, very mellow. It just tastes like tea, 
there's no like even hint of wintergreen on this one and I see I get it it does give you a head high and I'm okay with that I like that because this head high doesn't feel horrible Hang on a minute. This one's coming around. This one's coming around. It's comfortable. All these pouches have been very comfortable on my lip, by the way. Uh, the classic mint uh, did burn a little bit. But overall, these just feel good. I like how these feel. This one has a little bit of a burn, but I think it's because it's mint flavored. Classic winter green. Seven out of ten. So, conclusion for part one. They're not bad. They're pretty average. They're okay. I think it was a 6, 7, and 7. It was like 2, 6, 7, and 7 out of 10. So those weren't bad. They each have an extra pouch. So I have to find a way to uh, properly store those. And uh, go from there. All of these except the coffee is just straight up fine cut tea leaves it's not pouches i have to like clump these into my lip so ooh, i almost knocked over spit jug so so far back off ain't bad i uh, any piece of advice i could give uh something that's not tea i think it's just because tea leaves You're, you're essentially steeping tea in your mouth with flavor, but I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. I enjoyed all of those except the classic mint. Uh, I would definitely buy those again, especially the apple one. That just smelled like an apple fritter. The McDonald's pies. That's what that smelled like. That smelled like a McDonald's pie. Why, how, I, I don't know. It just smelled like a McDonald's pie. I used to work at McDonald's. That's how I like that's what it brought me back to. But they're not bad. They're really not bad. So, this is part one. Holy shit, half an hour. But in the description will be the links to my Twitter, my Twitch, my Instagram, my D Live, my Patreon. I'm really trying to build up the Patreon uh, so I can do shit like uh, build my truck into an Overland raid. Or with, with with Patreon, I will be I would be able to like I want to fix up my truck and I want to drive it through all 50 states, explore explore all 50 states. I've already been to Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, Connecticut, New Hampshire, whatever. But I want to drive it through those states from bottom. And I want to zigzag up the states. And I just want to see what's in them. So in order to do that, I definitely 100% need Patreon support. So that's going to be in the description. There's already probably a, a promotion for it earlier in the video. Please check that out. Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Patreon, um, and DLive. And TikTok. Because I post clips of my videos to TikTok. So, please be sure to check those out. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram, on Twitch, on Twitter. Check out the Patreon. Follow me on DLive. I will see you guys in the next part for this, which is probably going to be the coffee pouches this weekend. Bye.